Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. First of all, let me wish you all a very happy new year and a prosperous new year and a healthy new year. Um, I haven't done a video in a while because the FL Sun T1 and S1, they perfected those printers so well that I really had, hadn't had anything to make a video of. But I've recently done one and I'm about to let you know what that is right now. All right, so looking at Facebook and all the comments that I've seen over the last couple of months, it appears to me that many people think, or many people are trying to put the S1 and T1 against the bamboo, the bamboo lab printer, which is a valid point. Um, but I just could not believe all the comments that I saw. Again, there weren't many, but there were enough to, to make me a little bit concerned. So what I did was I saved a couple of bucks each week until I was able to buy a Bamboo Lab A1 printer to do my own testing. And now I'm going to let you guys know what the result of that testing was. So as you've already heard, the FL Sun S1 and the T1 are considerably faster than the bamboo. Now I'm not picking on bamboo. Like I said, I have one. I like it very much. But for speed and with the same or better quality, I'm still going with the S1 and the T1. So I've made some samples here. Um, I've labeled the bags so that you can all see what they actually are. This one is the A1. And the test that I did was the I don't know what it, even what you call it, the swirl test. So this is a great test because it matches quality of the print as well as the fit. I mean, if the print doesn't work well, it's not gonna fit well. So this is the A1 and you can see it fits very, very well, okay? Then we're gonna go to the S1. Now this one is a little tighter, but you can still see that it works very well. It's just it's slightly tighter, but fit-wise, it fits very well. That's the S1. Then we have the T1. The T1 fits very well, as you can see. So you might be asking yourself, all right, so here's the three samples, the A1, the T1, and the S1. This is all the same material, same settings, same everything. And you can see that they all work very well. The S1 is the only one that's a little bit tight, but not tight enough to make it a problem. You can see that it, it, it still goes very well. All right, now here's the big question. Can you mix and match all these printers? Let's say I printed the bottom on the S1 and the top on the T1. Will they go together? Yes, they do. Will the bottom, the top of the S1 go on the bottom of the A1? Yes, it does. So you can see that everything is working properly and they go together with themselves, the S1 and the T1, same, same thing. Everything fits perfectly well. This is all with the controlled filament. All right, so that, all of this, all the white is FL Sun high speed PLA. These are all high speed. Obviously, the printing speed is what we're talking about here and the quality. So before I forget, if you wanna know the exact times it took, it took considerably less time for the S1 and T1 to print than it did the A1. But you can see, I mean, the quality is perfect on all of these prints. So this is with a, uh, a known filament, the FS on high speed uh, white filament. So 
So then I took some general PLA, not high speed, just regular speed. So the only thing I changed on all three printers was that it was uh, just general PLA, not high speed PLA. So here is the S1. This is just regular PLA. This is the T1, regular PLA. And this is the Bimbo Lab A1, regular PLA. So again, can you mix and match these things? I believe so. So, in conclusion, the quality between the Bamboo and the FL Sun is the exact same. And I mean, it is the quality on the FL Sun is perfect. Bamboo Lab, it's perfect. So the quality is not a big deal. It, it is what it is. It's perfect on all three printers. The time on the S1 was much quicker than the T1, and the T1 was much quicker than the A1, which is the Bamboo Lab. And the same thing applies with these. And again, if you want to know the exact speeds and everything else, I have that. Just send me, put a link, put a message in the bottom of this uh, YouTube message, and I'll uh, answer you with the exact measurements. So that's about it. So in conclusion, let me just say that the FL Sun S1 T1, to me, is the printer to go with. Uh, again, um, I may be biased, but the facts speak for themselves. And I proved it myself. I bought a, an, a bamboo lab and I did the testing myself. And you can see all the testers here. I mean, it, it's conclusive. So if you're thinking about the messages that you see or the comments that you see regarding bamboo lab versus FL Sun, FL Sun is the pure winner. No question about it. So then one more thing before I sign off, let me just uh, I'll show you what else I printed on the this S1. Printed a little flexible dragon. And you can see this came out beautifully. And again, this is in record time. If you do one of these on the bamboo, it's gonna take you, you know, several hours. Here, it only took a couple hours. So you may be saying to yourself, well, that's very nice, that's a nice looking dragon but any printer can print the dragon. All right, any printer can print the dragon, but can they print one this fast with this quality? And the answer is no. The FL Sun S1 and the T1 can do this. So like I said, I did this on the S1 and you can see it came out beautifully. But again, you may be saying to yourself, well, that's not that impressive because anybody can print the dragon. All right, so, in response to that comment that you will most likely make is, how about this? Can you do this on your printer and have it come out this quality? Now this is a dragon. When you talk about dragons, this is a dragon. Here's the little one. Is the big one. All right, folks, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, leave your comments and your likes and your subscriptions below. Kylie and I both appreciate it. She's the one behind the camera and she's doing a great job. So from me, my family, to your family, Happy New Year. And from the dragon, have a happy, happy New Year. See you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.